Welcome to today's daily devotion. Today I've got a great friend, a great guest, and a, a great uh, a godly man that's here in this devotion today. Melvin, Melvin Harper. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here with me. Glad to be here. We're going to just excite you with what God's given us excitement about. Today, Melvin, we're going to talk about a subject called a place of agony. A place of agony. And there's a lot of people in this world that's eat up with agony. Yeah. I've been there. I've been there too. I bought that T-shirt and wore it. Yeah, yeah. got the keychain too. <laughs> yeah, Eat the car tag. Yeah, it's it's there. It's, it's there. there. Yeah, we all have that. There's no uh, they, to me. There's no other place in the Bible that you can find of a man that was in any more agony than Jesus Himself. Than Jesus. That's, That's right. It. I'm going to read some scripture today out of the Book of Matthew in chapter 26 and verses 36 through 38. And it says, Then Jesus went to the disciples uh, to a place called Gethsemane. He said to them, sit here while I go over and pray. And he took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. That seemed to be a hard, hard task. <laughs> it's difficult. It was difficult for Jesus. So, hey, it should be difficult for me and you as well, man. Absolutely, absolutely. What you got to say about it? You know? As I look at the Bible, um, Pastor Rex, I noticed that agony is a real place that Jesus traveled. But what's significant is that he took some people with him. Uh, and when we're experiencing agony, the truth of the matter is people need to know. Uh, sometimes in Christianity, we, we feel like we have to be tough and we have to be strong enough and super Christian that whatever I go through I bear it and I'm, I'm, I'm all alone and nobody feels what I feel and nobody understands what I'm going through but if Jesus Christ the son of the living God the savior of the world if he experienced agony uh, and he takes people with him somebody needs to know what we're going through when we're going through it as while we're going through it to watch for us to watch us in prayer to watch us in supplication, to watch us in meditation. That's right. He didn't expect us to go along. No, no. He no. didn't go along, and he says, "Follow him to be Follow his him. example." Follow him, Amen, Amen, to be his example. Yeah. And we need to we need to know that while we're going through agony, that Jesus, number one, is the answer. But That's people right. need to know that they are not alone. That there's somebody in this world who's going through what you're going through, uh, who have been through what you've been through. But in the midst of agony, don't forget to take the Lord with you. Amen. And to take some folk with you who can watch. Jesus says, you know, you need to watch here with me. There are people who need to watch us in the spirit realm. There are people who need to uh, be well aware of what we're going through when we're going through. And sometimes we just miss out on that. And that's the truth. Yeah, when he went in that garden, he, he carried people with him because he, he needed help. And he says, I need you to be praying. And he found them three different times coming back. But you know, the agony that he had and when he went into that garden, he knew what he was going into. Yes. He yes. knew he already knew the outcome, but yes. but he got soft. It said he got soft. He got I mean it was like being overwhelmed and I know a lot of times in my life when agony's being my I've been overwhelmed. Yes. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And then we even have to look at what the scripture says as it relates to the location of where Jesus was. Uh when you when you really take a take an in-depth uh, research in this he was in Gethsemane that the crushing place this was a place of, of crushing of the olives this was a garden uh, certain translation calls it a grove uh, or garden uh, it, the Christianity and the story of humanity meeting divinity takes place in a garden where we see Adam the first Ad, uh, first Adam in a garden and he's being crushed uh, he and his wife Eve who is a type and shadow of the church this was Jesus here in this passage of scripture getting ready to die for the church and for mankind for God so loved the world that he gives his only begotten son uh, agony is oftentimes a crushing place it is not designed to be a selfish place but it's where one gives over to themselves or gives over to God and and, and you begin to get crushed you crushed of my own agenda um, you, you know it's where self dies and sometimes self don't want to die it was self don't want to get crushed self don't want to experience the down times the downside but the crushing place is a blessing places because that's where i'm transferred that's where i'm transformed uh, i was an olive here but now i'm olive oil that's right. yeah man yeah man let god use me in a different place yeah he went into that garden with that amen but he didn't leave there he didn't leave there he didn't he didn't 
He settled it with his father. He settled it. Very good. Very good. Because at first he prayed, he prays in the garden, you know, Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. But he leaves the garden with a different testimony. Now he's saying, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. And the will of the Father that's to be done in our life is oftentimes that we get crushed to a better place. That it doesn't mess us, but it blesses us. Amen. And see, that's exactly, you listening, that's exactly with the agony that, that you might be in right now. You, you, Your life might seem like it's turned upside down. You might feel like that, God, I can't go any further. But but I want you to know that Jesus overcome agony. Yes. And so can you because he showed, he showed them how to overcome agony. Amen. Go to the Father. Go to the Father. He, hey, there was, he didn't go to no rock. No, no. He didn't go to no animal standing no, over there. No, He went and got on his knees and got busy with the Father and settled it with his Father. So the same thing for you to do. Yeah. Settle it with the Father. Settle it with the Father. Ooh, yeah. The only way we can ever really bear our cross and take up our cross is when we bear agony, when Amen. we settle it with the Father. And that'll work each and every day of our life. Ooh. Praise God. A place of agony. Are you in that spot of agony right now? You can get out of it. Jesus went to the garden. He got busy with his father. Yes. All you got to do is just get busy with the father. Get busy with the father. And you can come out of that place of agony. You'll come out just like Jesus. He went in there with a heart so full. It was so hurt. Yeah. But when he left out, he said, If this cup shall not pass me by, you know, if I, man, I get to think about it. And I, I've preached this in, in, in sermons before. He saw you and I. When he looked in that cup. He seen every time. Yeah. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. But he said, Father, I'm going to do something for you. Yeah. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this to take you. That's it. That's it. But the grave ain't going to work. No, 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 no. We can overcome. We've overcome the grave. Yeah. Just like he overcome that. Yeah. We're overcome. Yeah. Jesus did it and so can we. That's to be that's Christian, to be Christ-like and to be like Christ. We can overcome agony. Praise the Lord. Man, I hope this has given you a word of encouragement. God bless you. We hope that you now can come out of that place of agony Amen. and have peace with the Lord. We'll see you again soon. God bless you.